I want this. So if you want it, you could do it. You could be consistent. You, yeah, you, right here. You could be consistent. Trust me. When I, when, I, when I elevate you, yeah. higher than you've ever been. So like when you make that other shit for promethazin, on a mental and physical tip, you be my highness, reciprocate, cause everything you get to me is priceless. No other one before you when I put that on my light seat. You know your girl will trade up the word to be your wife. Yeah. And all hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ramona Rihanna and today I'm gonna be giving you tips and tricks on how I stay consistent and how, how you could stay consistent too. Cause like, it's not easy. I'm not, I'm gonna tell you straight, it's not easy, but I'm making it work, cause I want this, so if you want it, stay tuned, and just, you know, sit and watch the video. My most important rule is don't compare yourself to others, your success depends on nobody but you. Um, bouncing school with, well, bouncing my last year of high school with YouTube was nothing easy. Trust me, I was more passionate about the YouTube than school, and that was not good for me. And then I would have to take breaks, which made me really sad because I genuinely love creating YouTube videos. And it has become a part of my happiness. So like, I feel sad when I don't create videos. Therefore, I had to do something in order to be able to be consistent. And I've been posting twice a week, every week, since March. So I, well, I bumped it up for the summertime, which is three videos a week, but uh, it'll be going back to twice, twice a week, every week. And due to the fact that I'm starting college soon, I'm going to be stressed all again because I cannot give up on YouTube. That's something I, that is not on the table. So that means I have to work extra hard in order to... Consistency is the most important thing you need to, in order for your challenge to grow. Everyone says that, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do in order to float this boat of consistency. Um, so if you aren't passionate enough to put in the work to be consistent, YouTube no, might not be the place for you. It's it's fair. You might like doing YouTube videos, but don't want to be passionate enough about it to actually be consistent which is fine that's all at you but if you actually want to grow on this platform you need to be consistent you need to be regularly pushing out videos you need to always be coming up with content and i know writer's block and all these different factors weigh into being consistent but maybe if you want it you gotta work hard and trust me i've been working hard personally I'm willing to do anything I need to do in order for my channel to be successful, which means I have it as a priority. I was the type of person that would, see last summer, I didn't even be consistent last summer, which is a problem because I had all this free time in the world, but instead I spent it playing Sims, watching TV, all that stuff. I have not turned on my laptop probably since March break. Which means I haven't, I played, well, I played The Sims once since then. I haven't even caught up with Black Lightning. I only watch, only way I'm allowed to, I allow myself to watch shows is if I have like a week's worth of work done. That is when I'll sit back and I'll, you know what, I'll watch this. I used to regularly take naps every single day i don't even do that anymore because those that like two hour one hour two hour naps that i'm taking i could spend that time editing a video i could spend that time planning a video i took a nap the other day and literally i jumped out of my sleep to continue planning out youtube stuff because i just i'm so passionate about it. i really really love youtube and like it's on my mind 25 8 not even 24 7 25 8 First, have a list of videos you can do. I have a list of cute videos and I have it divided into different catalogs. This videos I can film immediately, videos requested by subs, videos that require purchase, and then subcategories are further down, like videos with my 
boyfriend fashion videos weight gain videos girl talk series which i wanted to start but i'm gonna wait till like back to school time when i don't have much to film because i'm trying to push out as much content as i can so that when back to school comes i will have a clean schedule we i can't really believe that i'm saying that i have a schedule because i <laughs> gave a long way um anyways spring summer videos and then fall winter videos because those are the two seasons well, four seasons divided in two um room related because i want to do more stuff with my room only thing i've done so far was room lights and um but i got more stuff coming soon and um story times and then school related which i'm working on right now um that way i so i created the list so that i will never feel like i don't have anything to film thus avoiding writer's block and i always have new content so i keep this list pretty stacked i'll show y'all the list because your girls gonna always have something to film I don't want to ever have a week where I have to say, oh guys, sorry, I can't film. I don't have any videos to film. If I can't film, it's going to be because school is beating my ass. Not because I don't have no videos to film. And even if school is beating my ass, the weekend is when I will prosper. Even if I got to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to film. Because I woke up early to film today. This is my second video I'm filming today. So yeah. I have a, have a list of videos you can do like a very lengthy juicy fat list with categories divided up organized all that stuff two create a schedule my schedule is tuesdays and fridays 6 p.m but as you can tell i've been doing a little extra 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 you know consistency i've been just spinning out videos and now i also do well for the summertime for the summertime 6 p.m on sunday so that's three videos a week so i found that i blossomed with consistency once i put myself on a schedule it took baby steps to improve my consistency i went from posting once a month to you know twice a month to once a week and now i post twice a week three because of summertime but like twice a week so i took baby steps my first year of youtube i probably uploaded six videos in 12 months i don't know what i was thinking but after that year i was like okay once a month and then school started well summer break i uploaded like maybe two videos a month and i was dropping a little bit more and more as i progressed and then like november december is when i really started to pick up the pace i just you know that's how i that's how i spread the videos once you develop a good rhythm it starts to feel much easier trust me if i were to tell myself in the past like okay girl you are gonna be consistent on youtube you're gonna be posting twice a week three times a week in the summertime and people are gonna be coming to your channel every single day I would be like, girl, what type of drugs are you talking about? Because I don't take anything seriously. But the fact that I've taken YouTube this serious, gotta mean something. Number three, pre-plan, pre-film, film in bulk. That's what I'm doing today. I pre-planned. I'm filming. Hmm. If you get ready and you look presentable for a video, and look, do not plan to overload yourself i sh cannot stress this enough do not plan to overload yourself but if if you have spare time to film another video you might as well i write scripts depending on the video that i'm doing days in advance so i could just film and upload whenever i get the chance as of what i'm doing right now i created this note july 25th so you could tell that pre-planned very much so and filming in bulk i feel like that's something that you have to 
decide to do spontaneously after you finish your first video because you might be exhausted depending on what type of video you're filming if you're filming the sitting down videos i recommend doing like minimum two because it's easy you're already sitting down just swap your outfit if you feel like it and call it a day but lookbooks and those type of videos that take time the sitting down portion you could film another video right away but i know that those other stuff the actual individual try on sessions is a little bit more stressful so when you have the opportunity presented to you to bulk film take it trust number four when editing turn off all distractions the self-explanatory when i'm editing filming i used to film while watching family guy in the background and that you'll see me tv is off right now and when i'm editing tv is off because if i look up at the tv it's gonna take it's gonna prolong everything what i could do without any distractions quick quick fast in a hurry will take hours if i have distractions and then you will end up not wanting to do it that's like procrastinating i am a procrastinator but when it comes to youtube not so much not so much five find your niche as a lifestyle youtuber which is me i um i get the opportunity to dip and dive into different categories and i could literally film anything and everything because it is my experience it's my life and i'm showing you how i view things so i like to hauls reviews and basically anything under the sun because you know i'm a lifestyle youtuber i could vlog i could do hauls everything that is everything that happens i could record it if i sneeze i could record it and put it on youtube for mona just sneeze because it's just my life i am documenting my life for all of you to enjoy from a distance because yeah this is not really the tip because this is the, the last the, finding your niche is the last tip basically um my last statement is um the only way you'll be consistent is if you take this seriously like if you actually want to do youtube you're really passionate about it you really want this for yourself because I, I know you can tell how much i want this for myself i'm getting up filming videos giving all that nice quality content taking my time to edit find music all that stuff just so that i could sit back respond to all my comments get all the amazing feeling feedback all that good stuff because i really want this and i want you to want it too but don't compare yourself to me compare yourself to yourself you could you could do it if i could do it and i'm lazy beyond lazy i think that making your event is a pointless chore but if i'm gonna film a video best believe my bed gonna be made if i could be consistent you could be consistent i'm not comparing it but like I procrastination, laziness, everything, <clears throat> you know. But um, yeah. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find some of the tips helpful because you know that's what I be using, and it worked for me. Hopefully, some of the tips can work for you. Uh, this is just my suggestions because this is what has been. This is what I found to be successful for me. I post two videos a week, three at the current moment, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.